Uh, Chris Janok here for TCL booth. It's uh, CES 2023, and we're going to take a look at some of their uh, technology innovations that they've been developing. Uh, many of these innovations are developed with their panel subsidiary, CSOT. Uh, and what we're looking at here is their Ultraslim AK Mini LED. This is a 98-inch model uh, that is a, a prototype. Uh, but the plan is to commercialize this TV uh, at the end of 23, uh, and it's uh, it's has a it's a, obviously a mini LED backlight. And what here's uh, here's some of the specifications that they're showing here on their on their plaque. Uh, basically, what they say it's a uh, they do uh, they have about four to eight LEDs per zone. Uh, and that depends on the size of the of the display, basically. So a 98 inch will get about eight uh, eight LEDs per zone. So this one um, uh, it actually it depends on also on the on the market it's going to. So I'm told that uh, for the EU market it will get about 3,500 zones, but for the U.S. market it will probably get around 2,000 plus. Again, that has not been decided. Uh, it is the OD zero. Uh, technology that they introduced uh, a little bit back, uh, where the LEDs, the mini LEDs, are uh, are glued exactly right onto the uh, onto the glass, uh, so it's super thin. Uh, I'll come around here on the side here, and you can see just how you. It's hard to see how thin this is, but that's about a quarter of an inch, uh, three point something millimeters, two point nine millimeters. Uh, and one of the concepts they have for uh, for packaging this because it's kind of fragile. Uh, they're thinking you could integrate this with a sound bar on the bottom and basically drop the TV in uh, on top of that to create a nice unified kind of solution that can be flush uh, to the wall. Uh, so uh, that's uh, screen sizes for that. It's also kind of to be determined, um, but I'm told this one is uh, typically about 3,200 nits right now, and of course that's in the most optimal condition, a very small window, one or to three percent, vivid mode, etc. Uh, and 96 percent of P3, uh, and frame rate is also an interesting issue, which carries over to uh, both these technology demonstrators and their uh, product line. Um, their European models support 144 hertz. Uh, but they think uh, you should have 120 hertz in the U.S., which to me makes no sense because why would you downgrade it for the U.S. market? Anyway, that's their decision. Let's move along. So these are the inkjet printed demo demonstrators that uh, subsidiary CSOT is showing here uh, at CES. Uh, very impressive looking displays here, super high contrast. Uh, luminance is good. It's not, not off the charts. But um, this is uh, um, organic, uh, sorry, inkjet printed OLEDs at this point, which is uh, developed in conjunction with uh, J OLED and, and Japan. They've had a longstanding relationship uh, to develop it. Uh, J OLED has not only developed uh, some of the processes and materials, they have their own inkjet printing machine. Uh, they don't use the Kativa or the SEMS uh, machine for doing that. Uh, uh, J OLED has already commercialized a 17-inch uh, size display uh, that's used in some professional monitors I've reported on before. Uh, this is now a 65-inch and a 31-inch over here. Yeah. Here's some of the uh, specifications that they're talking about here. So they're, uh, they are thinking this is going to be a 24, maybe a 25 uh, product. Um, they still are have to go into mass production here, but they clearly the, um, CSOT or TCL is going to have to work with them to get a mass production facility. Uh, J OLED cannot really support a, a TV market production capability by any means. Uh, these will be 100% of the PCI uh, color gamut. Uh, quantum dot OLEDs, about 98 white OLEDs. He's I'm told it's about 93% or so. Uh, so. Hopefully by the end of this, well, sometime in 24, we'll see these uh, in the market. Uh, I asked about lifetime on this, uh, 70,000 hours uh, with no significant degradation of loss, uh, uh, no significant loss of, of color or luminance. Uh, and it's also a bezel-less model here, which 
which is kind of nice. Uh, so let's move on to our next demo. Uh, the next item that was highlighted to me was this uh, 244 hertz, 98 inch uh, 4K display. Uh, and uh, I believe I saw this, it was, I, I, I forget if it was BOE, I think it may be BOE or TCL, I saw it at Display Week. Um, uh, I was not impressed at Display Week. I'm also not impressed with this one as well. Uh, it is dimmer than the other displays. Uh, it also appears soft. Um, not quite sure what the issue is here. It could be they're really trying to push this frame rate too much on this on this display, and it's just uh, not performing at all that well. Uh, here's some of the specifications that they're talking about on this. And I got one more thing to highlight. Uh, the last item to highlighted in the prototype arena here is their micro LED display. Uh, as you can see, this is a 136 inch device, 4K uh, Dolby Vision, 1700 nits, uh, the 0.78 pixel pitch. Uh, this is made of a bunch of uh, smaller modules, uh, perhaps in the nine inch square range or so. Um, it, it, it puts out a fair amount of heat and definitely is just a prototype at this point. They've had this for several years, actually, uh, and have yet to commercialize it. Uh, you can see also that how bright it is. It's uh, overexposing this video here, as you can see. Uh, still, I, I think they're waiting for the, the price of this to become much more reasonable before they can even make some kind of a commercialization decision because... The manufacturing technology is, is just too difficult right now. Uh, so that's it for kind of the innovation stuff at TCL. Uh, I'll have a separate video on their product line.